If you guys are looking for the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market, make sure to head over to utnice.com and use code CHIEF for 6% off at checkout. Now let's go ahead and jump right into this video. What's up guys, it's Thief Chief here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we have for you some more insane trading methods that can help you make a ton of coins on FIFA 22. Now if you are enjoying the content or you are new around here, I ask that you do please drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate it and it helps me out a ton. And then make sure to check out all the links in the description like Twitch for all my daily live streams, Discord for all sorts of trading advice and investments, and all the other links down there as well. And with that said, let's go ahead and let's jump right into these trading methods. So we got a couple of things for you today that I feel like not really a lot of people know about that are gonna be really easy to help you guys make coins. So let's go ahead and dive into the first one here. And what we're gonna be looking at is bronze rare position goalkeeper. Now, when it comes to kind of low budget methods like this, a lot of times people will be like, ooh, I have 200,000 coins, I don't wanna do that. You guys need to understand these low budget methods are gonna be the best ones out there because it's the easiest ones to pick up the cards. So right now, these bronze rare goalkeepers are selling for about 1,400 coins a piece, it looks like. Let's take a look. So yeah, selling at 1,400. So if you sell for 1,400, you're gonna lose 70 coins on tax. So I would try to pick these up for 1,200 coins or less. So if you do pick one up for 1,200, which is the max price, then you're gonna make 130 coins after tax on that card. So a lot of coins to be made here. And bidding is where you're gonna see a lot of your coins come in on a method like this. Because the thing, oh my gosh, I missed him. Is he still there? Oh, another one popped up. My goodness, so two of them popped up there. Just the thing with bronzes and silvers is there's not as many people opening packs and not as much supply of these cards. So sniping, I don't really enjoy as much because it takes a lot longer for those cards to pop up. You can see there's quite a few bids coming in here. Someone already bid 1,200 on that guy there. So I go place all my bids and then that's when I do my sniping. A lot of people just jump into sniping. What you wanna do is first check out the bidding market and then move over to the sniping and see if you can pick something up. And I am literally just blowing every snipe, but we picked that guy up. He was up for seven seconds and we get him for 1200 there. So we'll go ahead, list him 1400, make 130 coins off the back of him. Now imagine I hit all these snipes. We'd be swimming in coins already from this. And it seems like sniping is working relatively well from this method at the moment. So I'm gonna give it another go here, see if we can pick up another card. And then we'll go ahead and move into the next method, which, ooh, 200, my goodness. That'd have been a nice 1200 coins there. Come on, EA, give us another one. Give us another one. But yeah, if we hit, say we hit all those snipes, we probably made 2,500 coins then off the back of those cards, which is wild. So let's see, let's try to get one more here and then we'll move on to the next method. We'll get five, four, three, two, one. All right, next method we go, boys. We're gonna go quality silver rare and we're just gonna sit, stick with position goalkeeper. Again, very, very strange, but it's what's selling. So let's take a look here. It, this is the type of stuff you're looking for when you find trading methods is looking for random things that are up in price. Because if something strange is up in price, then a lot of people might not know about it. And that's kind of what we're looking for. These things that not a lot of people know about are the things that are gonna get listed nice and cheap. There's not gonna be as many people trying to pick them up and that's where we can jump in and make coin. So let's say these cards are selling for 2,100 a piece. Then we're gonna wanna pick these up. Let's see, you're losing 105 on tax. Probably gonna wanna pick these up for 1900 or less maybe you do 1800 make a little bit more profit and then again it doesn't really matter all that much there we go we got one right away 1700 we'll list him 2100 beautiful stuff just like that and it's amazing how many people don't really know about this kind of method it, it's strange to me that it's just the goalkeepers that have really gone up the most due to the spc that came out which we'll show you in a second here but again what I like to say, make sure you go to the bidding market first. See what's there. See if you can find some bids. Like, for example, nothing there. I mean, we got quite a few cards rolling in here that we have good bid prices on that we could win. And again, anything like 1800 1900 or less 
is going to be a good price here. So I got a couple cards rolling in there soon. So we got about 30 to 45 seconds until I need to go to my transfer targets and watch those. So I'm just going to snipe for those next like 30 seconds or so and see if we can pick up another card. And I didn't even snipe that last silver card very quickly. And we still got him there. So good potential to make coins here. Let's see if we can pick up another one here. Come on, someone just listed Cheel Silver Goalkeeper. But yeah, we're going to take a quick look at the other positions and kind of give you a look at what I do because I haven't really looked at the other positions much. So we'll have a quick look around and see what they're looking like. All right, nothing there. We're going to go ahead and move over to the transfer targets now to these cards that we bid on. One there for $1,400. One there getting bid on for $1,600. So we're going to let this one for $1,400 expire first and then bid on this one again. I don't know why, but that's something I do. I feel like it helps. I feel like maybe, okay, that one's expired. Then we're going to bid $1,700 here. Come on. Give us both of those. We have $1,400 here. List this guy $2,100. Easy coins off the back of this method, boys. We're cooking right now. We're absolutely cooking. Not a ton of people on this. Making easy coins. That's what we like to see. Did we get outbid again? No, some random. Okay, you got bought for $1,700. Fine by me. You never leave. Beautiful stuff. All right. Did that get bid on? It did. All right, we'll go ahead and remove. Malinkovic Savage. That's not you. That's not you. You're a midfielder, pal. You're a midfielder. All right. 1,500 there. We get this one for 1,700. We got another one rolling in for 1,500 in just a second here. So list him 2,100 as well. And again, when you're listing these, you don't want to be, you don't really want to flood the market, which is what I like to say. You don't want to list all your cards at once, but I've only listed three cards and I list them all as the cheapest on the market. So I've kind of left some space and I don't think it's going to be an issue. Are they already selling? Yeah, two of them. I mean, those two sold already. My goodness, my ringer's on. My ringer is on and the goalkeeper sold already as well. So. We're, we're not flooding the market. They are selling relatively quickly at 2,100 coins. So the prices we're picking up at are more than fine here. We got a couple more deals rolling in here. 1,700. And for example, even if I bid 1,900 on this, I'd still be making like, what is it, 95 coins after tax? That's not even bad. That's not even bad. Like, I'm going to just bid on those and list them for 2,100 because it's just one of those things where why not just make a, a quick hundred coins if they're just sitting there? What else we get? Yeah, so all of those sold 2,100 already, which is incredible that people are actually buying those. Absolutely incredible. And again, why like why not just bid 1,900, sell 2,100? It might not be the profit you're looking for, but it's better than just sitting there picking up nothing. You might as well just pick up something and make a little bit of coins on it as we pick up another guy for 1,700 coins here. And something I like to do as well is I pick up a guy that's from like a major nation or something. Maybe I'll see if he goes for more, but typically it's just going to be those 2,100 coins there. So, oh my gosh, we want both of those as well. And again, major league here with the Premier League. So maybe I check his price and just take a quick look and see if he goes for something else. I mean, this guy might be able to list like 23. Ah, there's one sitting there for 23. We'll list both of ours for 21. Not a big deal. Get them both out of here at a h t all right so that's gonna be it for this video guys if you did enjoy it make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video